Alright, perfect. So is everyone ready? I am. Alright, let me go ahead yes. and uh, pull you guys up on stream here real quick. Alright. Uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Wait, hold on, hold on. One second. Okie dokie. Right, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, guys, um, we'll count you down now, all right? Semi-finals, round two, no pressure. No pressure. Three, two, one, go! Go. And they're off. I know, I think this will be a uh, really exciting match for sure. This is going to be amazing. A really good tutorial to coming out from Batfish. Time. And a really oh. good chimney so far, too. Batfish has uh, been playing really consistently today, that's for sure. Oh, speak of the devil. Okay, he, he fixes it. 22, still pretty good, but Choco is not too far behind. It's yeah, Choco, Batfish. Quite a bit. Neck and neck. Yeah, all those other matches have got Choco all riled up now. But these guys, as they said, they're really nervous. So uh, I don't know if we'll see Watch some... Uh, Oh yeah, but these guys especially, I'm wondering if we'll see any super chokes. I'm, uh... Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fun Choco's to see. taking his time on orange. Yeah, yeah St. Nice. Hexagon missed the uh, side skip there once, I believe, so having a bit of a hard time. But it looks like him and uh, No Healing are pretty much tied, almost. Ooh! Hexagon! No. Okay. Not quite. But, uh, bit of a fool. Yeah, he's, ha he's stumbling. And that's it's already the first snake for Batfish. Wow, that's fast. Yeah, looks like uh, we're getting another Stillo on our hands, perhaps. Just about. He could sub 11 this, just like Stillo. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but I Shoko don't... gets his first snake, too. I don't know if it'll happen. I don't know if these guys are going to be able to play that consistently that well. It was definitely a really surprising Ooh, uh, match no coming from. Falls from the snowballs. Yeah, that's a bit rough. But I don't know. I felt like that was a uh, surprisingly good game for Stillo, even considering that it oh, is absolutely. Stillo. And uh, that's a it was snake incredible. for a uh, Saint Hexagon too. Uh, no healing. A wonder to watch. Just got his first snake, so uh, All Saint Hexagon. The snake once. Yeah, good bit ahead of um, no healing. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Batfish playing really well. As I say that, he messes up hat jump. He's not too far ahead of Shoko though. That is true. And uh, Hexagon is quite a bit ahead of no healing. Uh, it's pretty neck and neck, just as Batfish is ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. Batfish, second snake already, 2 minutes 40, that's a minute 20 each, that's pretty good stuff. Hexagon having a bit of a hard time at Orange. Yeah, struggling with Taking that thumb. That's always a hard one for me whenever I'm uh, stressed about something. I assume the pressure would be tenfold for him. And that's the Absolutely. second snake for Shoko, making good progress. Batfish having a bit of trouble here in the uh, chimney, but he gets through it. Very uh, respectable how all these players are still playing amazingly with all of this tension. I know, yeah, you really got to uh, give props to the guys playing. And that's also the Absolutely. second snake for uh, Saint Hexagon, with um, no healing being a bit behind. Yeah, a bit. But not too far. It's still a very close match. Could be anyone's game, especially with Batfish in quite a strong lead. Already doing Anvil now. Wow. That really to, uh... surprises me how on how Schmack was the only person to ever. F I think oh one other person, but two people fell on a snake. That's it. I think it was only Schmack, yeah, actually. Um, I'm surprised. I expected to see a few more players fall through the snake, but I'm sure they've been warned. They've uh, worried about it a lot. Like, oh god, what if I fall through this? So I'm sure they're uh, just taking their time and making sure they uh, don't do it, because that's almost a game changer, really. Yeah, it looks like Shoko has caught up to Batfish. What happened? Uh, Batfish had a bit they're of trouble both. in Snowballs. I believe he fell, actually. 
Um, oh. So now they're neck and neck. It looks like Team Rust yeah. is up there. Yeah. But no, they say that yeah. same answer go right yeah. back yeah. to the Rick's beginning. The tutorial. That is catastrophic for Team Rust. Oh my All god. All the way no back healing. to the start. Such a lead. No healing, Sick. yeah. He's on so far behind. He's really gonna have to pick it up. He He's really have to will. Play almost perfectly. I don't think so. They've got six more snakes, so there's plenty of time to uh, make it back, but god, you hate to see it. He had such a lead over uh, no healing, but it's just all gone. It's incredible how hard everything can turn in just one incident. It, uh, wow. I know, and that's no healing the getting Shoko the third. And Batfish are still neck and neck. They've Pretty much, yeah. The entire game at the same pace. I know, both been playing good. Shoko's having a bit of trouble on hat, but he doesn't fall, doesn't quite get and for the first time, so Batfish is going to be getting the snake a good few seconds ahead of him. Absolutely. Batfish is really pulling at the head. He's playing an incredible game. That's for sure. Got his fourth snake in at 538. Same really hexagon, nice playing on uh, Microsoft PowerPoint here. <laughs> Next slide? Next Please. slide? Please. Saint Hexagon is two snakes behind Batfish, if I'm correct. That's true, he's yeah. uh, on his third now, but this is only to be expected after that massive blunder in orange. So try and get his stream back here, there we go, just about uh, evading the snake. For the third time, but no healing! Just oh, yeah. about dropping from oh, orange, my... saves himself. I was just about to say he's put good distance between himself and Hexagon. And uh, so is Batfish. Right he's really say. capitalized over Shoko's tiny mistakes. And uh, he's got, okay. put really good distance between them. You know, a solid 10 seconds ahead and uh, no healings. A good 30 seconds, maybe even 40 or 50 uh, compared to St. Hexagon. Yeah, 1.04 is doing absolutely incredible. I know. Ooh, just as I say this, no healing falls through the snowball. It's really not going to be that much of a blunder because he's still so far ahead of I think, Saint Hexagon. I think we've got some kind of magic, man. Every time we talk about how a team's doing well, they instantaneously fall. Oh, I should just stop <laughs> mentioning it. I, I feel like I'm killing them myself. It's uh. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm single-handedly cucking them out of money. The commentator curse, yeah, even though they can't hear us. They know, they feel it, the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Batfish and Shoko, I, and bounds ahead of, uh, I assume uh, that Batfish Hexagon. made quite a big mistake that we didn't quite catch because him and Shoko are right at it neck and neck oh, once wow. again. What happened? And I uh, no healing, we he just- totally missed I know, he just can't stick construction right now. He's uh, allowing St. Hexagon to get back in the game after that massive orange fool, man. It's looking like it's gonna be a super close game, especially with no healing not being able to do the beginning of, um, Thatcher here. Yeah, watching Batfish and Shoko is insane. They're both just right next to each other. It's really- Interesting to see how Shoko is trying to get this lead over Batfish. They're at the same snowball, at the same place. Shoko takes the lead, gets the fifth snake. I know. Before Bat sixth thing before Batfish. Compared to earlier matches, Shoko's definitely uh, shown up, really. He's doing a lot better than he was in the first and second round. Absolutely. He is de rusted quite a bit, but no healing is still quite a bit ahead of Hexagon. That's really going to come down to, I think, how No Healing does versus Hexagon, Batfish, and Shoko. They've been basically tied for, like, three snakes? Yeah, pretty much, uh, with Batfish getting the lead here and there, but it's Shoko taking the lead now for the first time, I believe. Uh, but oh, just barely, maybe only a second. Snake. But yeah, they're, they're both on right six. Next to each other. And, uh... Alright, both of these players getting to orange. Talking about and snake numbers, fall, that's no healing, just starting his fifth, while uh, St. Hexagon's nearing the end of uh, his four or fifth run here too. So I think there is a good bit of time to be saved between this. I just, I don't know. This is insane. insane how 
Ooh, Shoko has you know, a I... little bit of a blunder. Batfish takes the lead. Yeah, I saw Light saying that he uh, wanted a close match in chat. You know, these guys, they're definitely showing yeah. it for sure. Even though Batfish took the lead, he's only seconds ahead of Shoko. He needs to... The... He needs to play very well. No That's true, and no healing toilet. stuck in the toilet. This could be catastrophic. It could be 10, 20 seconds. It's terrible. This is really bad. He Hexagon's gets having a really back. hard time at chimney. He gets unstuck. Yeah, he gets unstuck, but he lost so much time in the toilet, and he can't get over this chair well, either. He's stuck over the chair. Furniture. He's having, he's having a really, having hard, a really time. hard time with this. This is insane. Shoko's he's... taking the lead over Batfish again. Yeah, and Batfish is falling at construction. Set. Oh my god, he feels orange! He looks bothered! Oh, Hexagon's back in the lead. He's made it back. Team Roth is now back in the game. They're ready. They've got a lead. This is insane. The tables have turned so hard in 20 seconds. This is what we're Batfish saying when it could be Joko anyone's game. Just right next to each other, though. I know. Once again, it's incredibly close, and we've got both Saint Hexagon and No Healing. Well, Orange, No Healing's obviously done a lot of work to get back there. Obviously, and he's been doing an incredible job of keeping a good pace. He's only a little bit behind Saint Hexagon, even after his toilet blunder, his chair blunder, and his fall off of orange. Now, I don't know if you caught that at hat, but Saint Hexagon was uh, being very smart and playing it very slow because he just had the edge of it and uh, got over first try, which will be saving him a bit of time. So I can appreciate the smart plays coming from these guys, but it looks like no healing and uh, St. Hexagon just about going down the snake at the same time. So this will be down to the second. There's never been a, like, this is just, there's never been such a consistently close match in this tournament, I think. Ooh, Shoko falls off construction, gives a unprecedentedly big lead to Batfish, but it's still so small. It's down to everything. That's no true. healing again takes the lead over Hexagon. I think it'll all come down to no healing and saying Hexagon, really? They've got two more snakes and no healing just cannot Ooh. stick construction. And he can't do it again! He's giving Saint Batfish Hexagon a lead! Orange. Shoko's bringing back his lead, they're both basically at the same place. Yeah, this is so close. Both players nail that jump. This is absolutely insane. Incredible match. This is so close, yeah. And uh, Batfish barely missing the bucket, but he gets it on his second time round, but Shoko's already halfway up the mountain. He's fallen! Ooh, never mind! Oh, Shoko's having a really hard time. Batfish is an entire split ahead of him. Gonna start the tower. It's all gonna come down to space, though. The graveyard of runs gets a good launch and a stellar tower. Oh, Yo, but he get under the rock. Batfish. That's gonna be a bit of time loss, but he oh. will know that there's a rock so above him that he can around. use. And oh. pushes away from it a bit. Shoko, if he gets strong, which he does, this is an amazing Shoko. space from Shoko coming in clutch for his they team. <laughs> Yeah, one second difference! One second difference! One point one second! This is insane! This is insane! If you guys wanted a close oh match, here you have it! God. It's off the beam between St. Hexagon and No Healing! That's pretty much neck and neck! This is insane! No Healing's got a bit to catch up on, but it's easily doable. You can definitely do it. There's one Thanks snake. Hexagon's having some trip ups here. Now, obviously, the players don't know, but if they did know, they'd be taking their time because, God, it is so unbelievably close. Saint Hexagon taking the lead. I think it might be Rust's game for now. It might be, but he's having a really hard time at the start of. Furniture, no healing is caught up to St. Hexagon, just a tiny bit behind. Having some trouble with the chair again, we've seen this before. Hexagon makes it to Orange. He knows that he can't be messing up at Orange. He knows it's all too close. St. Hexagon taking his time, just like he did at Hat. I can respect... I can really respect the plays. Absolutely. And I have a bit of time in his turn! St. Hexagon's fallen! Oh. Not too hard, but it is enough to let No Healing get in the lead. 
they're still basically right next to each other. I know, there's about a second difference, which is all the rage. It's the only thing that matters one second, because it's the difference oh, between Shoko and Batfish. I think this is- I think this is it for 1.04. Really? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Saint Hexagon got the negative pull, and, you know, he's a bit behind a good 10-20 seconds, and he's falling from Anvil. He can't quite do it, but if we see a blunder at Orange, it could be all over. This could be anyone's game, but it's definitely looking- definitely looking like 1.408's round right now. Absolutely. Saint Hexagon finally gets to the last lap. I mean, this is just... Vanya says that Hexagon is delayed, so this might be even closer than we thought. Yeah, this could... This is just... I have no idea. I have no idea. Now, will no healing mess up at Furniture? We've seen it happen a few times, and he doesn't. He nails it, but Orange is going to be the decider for sure. All eyes on no healing as he glides yeah, through it's orange, it's but he's having a bit of trouble. We'll just hope that he doesn't mess up at the end, and he doesn't. He's cleared it, so it's Incredible. all gonna be on the late game here. Saint Hexagon having a bit of trouble near furniture. It's really looking like 1.048's game here. Absolutely. Executes the fuck perfectly. Very good start to ice. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is it for 1.04. They've got it. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know. We Those saw. Have to really mess up. We Space saw the tower launch the in the first round. This could be it. Tower has yeah. been a graveyard Speak for so many double. players today. It all comes down to the launch. It all comes down to the space. Saint Hexagon could easily pull this back if no healing doesn't get it together, but he gets a good launch. Oh, very good launch. Oh, he doesn't push off the first asteroid as well. Actually? He's losing a bit of time here, yes, but I don't know if it would be enough to let Saint Hexagon get back in the game. He'll really have to pull it together at this end. And what's happening? No healing! Okay, he lands on the boulder, he pushes away, he gets the N1646, it'll be a very close match because supposedly Hexagon's on a delay, so it all comes down to his tower. But I think this is 1.048's match here. I think they've just won. I yeah, think that may be it. We'll have to look at the end. Got a that's, a, that's a terrible did, space for St. Hexagon. We'll have to see what happens when his round finishes. What did Batfish get? Uh, Batfish got once, he's got a 12.45. Oh no, 12.46, oh, no. sorry, Shoko, Shoko got a 12, sorry. Shoko got a 12.45. And that's it, okay. 1.048 have won. Oh my they move God. on to the finals, and they'll be playing against Stillo and Rellos.